All right, today we're looking over the Lenovo S10 3T tablet netbook. It is a uh, netbook, Intel 1.66 gigahertz Atom processor. It's got one gigabyte RAM. It uh, down this side we have the Lenovo Natural Touch launch key. We have the accelerometer, uh, manual uh, landscape, the portrait button and the mute button. We have the one touch recovery button. And uh, right here you have the webcam. So it's got a natural uh, touch pad here. And the left and right mouse keys are built into the pad. So you can actually click uh, the corner of the pad to right or left click. So, but the real key feature to this is its touch capabilities. So, if you swivel it into the tablet mode, we now have, uh, we can go to the Lenovo One Touch function, natural touch function. It's got a sort of a media center type thing with the, the book, the music, the uh, quick notes, which includes video notes and audio notes, um, video. So let's take a look at the video here. I think it could definitely benefit from two gigabytes of RAM. So now we can go to the photos. And the photos work just like the Microsoft Surface interface. You can zoom, zoom out if you hold a finger down and, and uh, spin your other one, it rotates. Then they've got the whole surface background where you can create the uh, collages with the different photos. It's got an ebook reader, the e-reader works both landscape and portrait mode. So it either scrolls through the pages or you can flip through the pages. So that's the highlights of the natural touch interface. Uh, the music is standard media player type stuff. So the Kindle for PC app works very well. You can just flip the pages with a touch or get the longer page format. So I've tried um, Safari, Chrome, and Explorer, and they all work with the touch interface. Um, Explorer, you have to scroll using the scroll bars. Safari, I was able to get it to to, oh, looks like they both two finger scroll. So um, if you use two fingers, you can at least scroll up and down versus uh, 
using the scroll bars, but the scroll bars are easier. So um, the only catch is that unlike the iPhone and iPad interfaces, when you click in a text box, you don't get a keyboard on screen. You have to launch the on-screen keyboard as a separate function. So once it's up, keep it right here so I can touch there search uh, for uh, dancing Oops. So. Oh, dancing with the stars it's on right now And when we don't need the keyboard, just minimize it. It always sits here in the bottom. So when we do touch it, pops back up. So that's not automatic, but it's not a deal breaker and it still works fairly well. So that's it. Hopefully it'll be a little quicker with all of its different uh, functions once the second gig of RAM's in there, but overall, uh, for 479, it was uh, quite the deal, at least quite the novelty, especially since, uh, you know, as far as apps goes, it can run anything that Windows can run.